Now we're going to take a look at the schedule review screen on LMN scheduling tool. Schedule review screen is going to give you a list of jobs that are either completed or overdue. Basically, it's going to show you all your scheduled events for a current period um, and allow you to look at, pick up some warning flags, especially on things that may have gotten missed. The primary reason for this, but you can also th see things that you did finish or things that you have upcoming that need to get finished. The first thing we want to look at is up here, and there's a couple of different views. Overdue work is going to show me all the work that has been scheduled, but not marked as completed. The important thing to remember about this is it's only gonna show recurring work here. Non-recurring or construction work doesn't actually get marked as completed. It'd be too confusing for the crews. When they finish a day, do they mark that day as completed? They don't know, they may have gotten some of the work completed, but not all of it, like completed the patio, but not finished the planting around it. So for construction work, they're not gonna mark it on a day-to-day -day job, whether it's complete or not. But for maintenance work, when you finish a lawn cut or when you finish a fertilizer application or you finished plowing snow or putting salt down or whatever it is, you can mark that task as complete as you leave it and they will. And you can watch the video on uh, scheduling and timesheets uh, to get more information on that. The overdue visits is gonna show us all the scheduled events that were scheduled before today that are still marked as scheduled. They're not marked as completed or skipped. And therefore we know uh, these events are uh, overdue and need to need to get finished. So on a day to day or week to week basis, you should be referring to your overdue view on the schedule to see what was supposed to happen and what didn't happen. And you can draw drill this down or filter this down either by calendar. So I can look at, for example, just my lawn care, or I can look at just my uh, mowing calendars and see specific things, or I can look at visit types. So for example, if I want to see all the cuts that were supposed to have happened by now that still haven't happened, I can just do that and it'll give me a list here of all stuff that's overdue. So all stuff that's scheduled before today that is still marked as scheduled, that's not marked as completed or skipped. And if the crews are behind and they haven't got it done yet, obviously we can make sure that stuff gets put on the schedule. And if it was done and just not marked as done, the crew made a mistake or whatever, you as the administrator can do that. So I can quickly click edit and I can say it's completed and I could mark that it, yeah, it got completed on December 9th actually. So set, we'll hit okay. And now it'll mark that off and that now, now it disappears because it's marked as completed. will no longer show up on that. So that's how to stay on top of overdue work. And that's really important that we're checking that at least once a week. If you get behind on this work, uh, you're gonna A, start missing stuff for billing, but you'll also run into the problem of the crews marking the wrong things as complete. Um, if they get two or three visits behind and stuff isn't getting marked as complete, you're going to see when they do mark stuff as complete, the wrong visits are getting marked as complete because you got old stuff here that's not cleaned up. It's definitely worth checking on this at least once a week and staying on top of your overdue list and making sure nothing's um, getting missed. You can mark it as complete, you can mark it as skipped, or you can even change the date. If for whatever reason you got to reschedule it, you can edit it and go to edit today and move that date to somewhere next week so that you can make sure you get it done. But don't let this list pile up. You'll run into all kinds of problems. Scheduled view is gonna show us a view of work that's upcoming that um, is, is on our to-do list. So if I go to scheduled, it'll show me, for example, from today, from a month from now, all the different work that's scheduled. And again, I can break that down by type. You know, I can look at just for ones, which I'm not gonna have any um, cuts, or de-icing or whatever it is that I want to see. So I can quickly take a look at either by visit type or just by calendar um, work that's scheduled within the next month, week, two days, whatever it is that you want to use as your date filter. The skipped view is going to give me a view of stuff that was supposed to happen but didn't. So if I back that up to December and I'll hit the refresh button, That'll find all the, the visits that were marked as skipped by the crew. So let's say the crew went to site and for whatever reason couldn't do the work. They could mark it as skipped. And what that'll do is just make a note that we didn't actually get that work done. So there's two scenarios. You could skip it on purpose, like it didn't need doing, or you could have skipped it and it still needs doing. So if it still needs doing, we don't want to mark it as skipped. We want to reschedule it. But if we skipped it for a reason and we're not going to go back and redo it, you can mark it as skipped. And then it just has a flag saying, yeah, we didn't actually complete it. 
but we skipped it. We want this thing to disappear for the calendar. And that's what the skip flag is for. And the last thing is completed. So if I want to see all the work that got completed from this date to this date, you can obviously pick your calendars, your visit type, or even by crew. You can even filter by crew and say what, uh, I could go all types and then just pick a specific crew, Mo Crew B, for example. It'll show me all the work that Mo Crew B completed in that last time frame. Um, down at the bottom, you can print these reports. So if I hit print, I can hit open report and I'll be able to generate a printed copy of whatever it was I was looking at the screen. Uh, you can sort your screen. So you can click the headers here, job name, uh, crew, completed by, completed date. That'll sort all the information in the, in the grid by, uh, by the header that you clicked on. And once again, if you use the edit button over here, you can go in and make those changes to the visit that you wanna change. You can change the status. You can reschedule the event, move it to a new date, drag and drop or uh, pick a new date like the 17th, and I can make manual adjustments there. So the schedule review tool is a handy tool for looking at work that's either overdue or has been completed or needs to be completed in the next week. Gives you a nice clean list that you can look through and, and tick things off at right here. Great way for managing overdue work. That's your best use for this one. Make sure you don't fall behind in your overdue calendars.